Uh, it means a whole lot just because I've been working towards it since I was 10 years old, and so like it's really, really accomplished feeling. So I'm super excited. What uh, what was it about Ball State other than the fact that it, and it's the best university in the world? Uh, what was it about Ball State that stood out to you? Um, I absolutely love the coach. The campus was super nice to me. It was surprising how nice it was, and I just loved I just loved it all in all. And the money and location just works out for me and the family, so I really enjoyed that. I was going to say, how much of it was a, was you know, being able to stay close to home with factor in your decision to go there? It was a pretty big factor, especially for my parents. They wanted me to stay within like. Like my mom said, no more than three hours, kind of as a joke. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to stay pretty close home because I'm really close to my family. So I'm just, yeah, this location was a big deal to us. Obviously, Division One and um, you know a pretty good program. How long has it been a goal of yours to, to play Division One tennis? And I mean, is there kind of a sense of relief now that you finally have, have been able to do it? Definitely a sense of relief. Um, I think when I was maybe like 14 was when I realized, oh, I, maybe I can play college tennis. And then once I started seeing improvement, I was realizing maybe I can play D1 and once it became a reality it's just really satisfying. Obviously you and Isaac bring home a state championship this year just what does it mean to be able to leave that legacy uh, at Leo with, with Isaac? Uh, it's awesome hopefully it inspires younger kids to try even harder and get better at tennis and keep the Leo program going and I just hope that at least a good mark on the Leo tennis program so yeah. Uh, plans for college as far as major what you're studying do you know any of that yet? Um, I'm thinking about majoring in computer science and that's so that's what I want to do so far.